wonder if I could get this object to stay on my hand. Hmm, it's falling off. Ah, I'll give it some angular momentum. There we go. Let's see. Ah, sure enough, look at that. Of course, it falls off after a while, it loses its energy, and it starts to recess about the angular momentum, but it works for a while. So giving things angular momentum will keep them in their plane of rotation. Really interesting effect. Now I'm going to try a tire. So we've got a tire over here. A friend of mine said, hmm, angular momentum. I saw something about a tire, Professor. Can you tell me how that works? Here's a tire with a little handle, and I've got a string or rope. If I hold the tire up, sure, it won't be falling over, but once I let it go, the torque due to gravity pulls it downward. Is it possible for this wheel to stay like this versus falling over? Give it angular momentum. So I'm going to spin it. We learned earlier, it likes to stay in the plane, but it starts to rotate about this axis. So it processes about the axis. You're not going to be able to spin it and keep it spinning while it stays in one spot. So yes, it's true, won't fall down, but it will process about this axis. So here we've applied a torque. We've given the wheel angular momentum by giving it a torque. Well, what is torque? We were talking about this in, an, in another segment. We say that torque is a force, a cross product of a force with a radius, meaning we have a moment arm. Think about a clamp, anything you want to turn, a screwdriver, turning a wrench, something of that nature. As you'll notice, we've got a handle. We can call this the radius, all right? So here's the radius. And I'm going to turn it with a force. So the force is going to be perpendicular to this, so at right angles. But you notice, look what happens to this screw here. It goes in or it goes out. So we learned earlier about angular momentum being a cross product. Well, torque is also a cross product. We have the moment arm, we have the force perpendicular, and then perpendicular to that plane, we have the resulting torque. Right? So we can use torque in a variety of applications. Another one that you might want to use out on the playing field is playing football. You want to throw the ball way downfield. You certainly don't want to throw the ball like this, end over end. You're not going to get this to go very far, correct? So you say, all right, I'm going to put angular momentum on that ball. You give the ball a spin or a torque, so the ball spins and it goes way down the field. Okay, maybe 70 yards, all right, so I'm going to go way back. And give it a good torque. Oh! Watch out um, over there. Okay, so torque. What about torque? You ever watch a helicopter go up? Here's a helicopter. The helicopter blade is going around. Okay, the problem is when you spin something, here this edge is catching. When you spin something, if you don't have something to stabilize the helicopter, meaning a blade in the back that spins, you're going to have a counter torque. So the helicopter will, would spin in the opposite direction. So the two things would spin opposite to each other if you don't have a stabilizer rotor in the back. This is kind of a dangerous toy, but it really shows uh, this counter torque idea. Yeah. Be careful with this toy. Maybe you could pan back, because I'm going to go over here. So be careful with this toy. It works, but uh, ends up crashing. And you'll see how the helicopter spins. So as you can see, the helicopter ends up spinning wildly in the opposite direction to the, to the blades. So you need the uh, rotor in the back. So be careful about the toys like that. Another interesting one is the gyroscope. Okay, here's a gyroscope. Maybe you can zoom in on the gyroscope here. We are going to apply, and it works similar to the tire, we're going to have a flywheel here. I'm going to give this flywheel angular momentum, so it's going to torque the wheel. And hopefully, if I turn it sideways, it shouldn't fall down like the tire, right? So we give it a big angular momentum. Okay, so there, it's got a big angular momentum, and sure enough, but it processes about the point, right? So 
so quickly loses, but it still doesn't fall down directly. So that's a gyroscope. So it processes about that pivot point. Here's another one. Let's see if I can get this to spin. Okay, so it spins really fast to the start, and then it lasts for a while, and then finally kind of loses energy quickly. So a useful way to describe torque and angular momentum, you can show it to your family and, and friends, maybe over the summer. So uh, see you next time down the road. Take care. Bye for now. Dr. Bone Show.